Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. My name is Mr. Slynn. I'm joined here by Bloodsire as my co-caster and Dash TM as our cameraman. And welcome to ESEA Invite Season 20 between Ascent and Team Solo Uber. This is the second time these two teams are facing off. And we are being playing on Metalworks. It says Scullywash, but it's not. It's Metalworks. And uh, really looking forward to this match for you guys. I'm in a bit of a rush because the teams are readying up soon. And we're about to head into the match. Sorry, we're a little bit late. We had a little bit of technical issues on our end. Hopefully, Bloodsire is getting those all hammered out from him. And uh, yeah, this is a really big match between the number one seed and ESCA right now. The first seed, Ascent, versus the third seed, Team Solo Uber. We're going to do the roster rundown real quick. Team Solo Uber is Showstopper on Pocket, Grape on Roamer, Alec and Sizer on Scout, Zalox on Demo, and Ninjanik on Medic. Meanwhile, for Ascent, we have Rando on Pocket, Mela on Roamer, Yomps and Shrugger on Scout, Bonanski on Demo, and 404 on Medic. And like I said, this is a pretty big match, uh, highly ranked teams. We looked at Saloon.TF, 90% of you guys said that uh, Ascent is going to win. So they are the heavy favorite. They have not dropped a uh, match this season except for a forfeit loss weird scoring thing that I can't really tell what's happening on ESCA. But yeah, they're technically 8-1 in first place. And uh, Team Solo Uber, they lost 0-5 to Ascent previously in the season. But uh, Team Solo Uber is still up there, number third at 6-3. And, and Bloodsire, are you in the server? No, my friend, I am. Oh, I'm in the server. I was about to say, you know what? Go ahead and hand it off to Kurt because um, I couldn't get in. But in the 13th hour there, um, Steam is going to throw me a solid and let me actually join in on the server. For some reason, uh, my machine was having difficulties running the map. But Slain, I'm here, and I'm happy to be here. You did a great job with that intro, uh, and I'm ready to see some TF2 action. Thank you so much, and yeah, I'm so ready as well. These are uh, this is a really big matchup between two heavyweight teams, the two of the best teams in all of North America. So uh, we should be seeing a good match tonight. Absolutely. Yeah. Yep, absolutely. Yeah. We have the uh, like you mentioned, the first place versus the third place team, and the last time these guys did meet. Um, it was very one-sided in favor of Ascent, but you know, uh, it's a new day, it's a new dawn, we have a new map, uh, a very different map than Sunshine, in which uh, Team Solo Uber did get 5 owed on, so, uh, you know, anything can happen here, uh, the, 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 uh, the brunt of the season um, is behind us, so uh, teams should be gelled together, the little bit of an advantage that Ascent had as a, uh, as a more... Um, team that was used to each other that's gone you know everybody's used to each other as we are going live soon so I do expect to see a better showing out of uh, TSU this time around I completely agree with you looks like the teams are readying up and we're heading into the first middle Ascent versus Team Solo Uber and uh, yeah like I said both teams have some really like some really heavyweight teams with a lot of invite experience a lot of land experience here but uh, some new faces as well with Yomps and uh, you know Showstopper getting in here as well into a top four team so uh, should be a good match. That's right, and I got my eye on Zalox, seeing how he gets to the middle. He's going to get there at 943 and spam that big door early on. He sees Badonski putting some nice sticky damage, demo on demo fighting. Now teams are going to vie for position over on this Metalworks mid. I expect the Soldier Bombs to come in here any second, and Grape's going to get the first kill onto Badonski. Randall follows it up onto Grape, but two more frags are going to fall a piece for either team. And right now, Slayer, it looks like Blue Team, Team Solo Uber have the advantage and the mid. Yeah, nice job getting the high advantage. Mela, there's last second bombing in and taking down Showstopper. He's still dancing around middle. Takes down Sizer as well. Mela going for some huge plays. Alec, meanwhile, in the yard. Onto Yomps. Can he finish him off? No, these heals are a little bit too strong. 4-4 four four is very healthy as well here. So it looks like they're going to come back in with this heal advantage. Alec, nice clean up there onto Mela at the tail of that. Yomps trying to get Zalox down. He's so low. Zalox got the ball out. Meanwhile, Alec in from behind. Takes down 4-4. Four four. Huge pick there. The one-on-one -on -one continues in the yard. Oh, Yomps right there. Failing to kill a demo man does. Finally take down Alec, and what a sustained middle. Yomps is going to come back in and finally clean up the uh, Zalox. Now the blue team need to make sure there is Yomps going. Hell, I am on the medic. Is he able to take him down? Yeah, Ninja Neck falls to Yomps, who makes everything okay by not killing Zalox early on by getting right in on that blue combo and taking down Ninja Nick. And this middle is actually going to go for a yeah. set in a weird and wonky middle fight. One of the longest middle fights we've seen thus far this season, and a minute and a half was that mid fight, and it looked like TSU had it locked down, and then they got a little bit greedy, were going for frags, they did get 4-4 down, big pick from them there, but Ascent were able to come back in and retake that cap, and now 4-4 has a very large uber advantage as they begin pushing to second point, and TSU are not quite in position to defend this. They are in a position, and like you said, uh, they are going to be at a huge uber disadvantage, so Medic's going to have to back it out here pretty early, and this this defense that we are going to see from Team Solo Uber is going to be su uh, very superficial, 
as once that Uber is up, they are going to get bullied out of the point. Looks like that red Uber wants to go in towards that alley, and it has been spotted, so backing up are the blue team. This cap should go fairly uncontested here, and we do see Team Solo Uber backing out for the most part. They have nothing in the way of defense, and they're just trying to back out, get their Uber, try to weather it till they uh, can fight last. Yeah, Rando doing a great job, though, of taking the lobby. The Uber is popped. They're coming out of main. Rando jumping in. with Shrugger behind them. Grape a little bit sequestered off on the right side there. As Rando a little bit overextended. Gets taken down by the Uber. And Grape, we were talking about him on the flank, gets that pick onto Yomp. So two players down now for a send. Team Soul Uber want to push out. Yeah, Uber is up for Ninja Nick. He was at 40 HP, but he held on to it. Was able to get that Uber up. That's going to allow them to push out of here, barring any stickies or bombing soldiers. And there is nobody in position at the moment. Yeah, Team Solo Uber is going to be able to recap this point. Try to make a oh. motion out to middle. And just a really nice shot by them, too. Taking that second point without having to use Uber. They saw that uh, Scent wanted to go for a force there. And speaking of a Scent, Yomps on that high ground. Taking down Showstopper on top of the shack. Bit of a, a, a setback there for TSU, but they still have that advantage. Yeah, four responds in favor of Ascent. They are in control of that middle cap. So Team Solar Uber need to go now if they want to get something going before uh, the, the, that sixth man comes in from Ascent. He's able to bully them out. Looks like they're getting on that point. Uber has not been spent yet. So best case scenario for Ninja Nick as of yet. And there's nobody from Ascent wanting to come out. That Uber is going to be up for the red team. So here is the contestation from them. Uber is going to be popped uh -oh. from both teams. No yeah. frags as of yet. A better Uber coming in from TSU with onto their scouts. Rando in behind, dancing around, jungles up Ninja Nick and takes it out with a nice air shot. Meanwhile, Team Solo Uber are, are pushing into the yard. They're trying to put pressure onto the enemy combo. 404 there. He does take half a damage, half a health bar worth of rockets. Showstopper, another rocket, yes, and he does take down 404. Nicely done there. Shrugger, the only person alive for Ascent. And you know, Ascent, uh, well, actually, Shrugger's taking the one on one against Zalox out by the truck, but no, Shrugger is able to get that frag down. Meanwhile, Alec and Grape have gone behind for this fourth <laughs> cap, and this is a little bit wonky here, Bloodsire. <laughs> Shugger is gonna, Shugger is gonna double jump and just be a little too high off the ground because he's actually gonna crater, and Zalox gets the kill. I've never seen a scout uh, just try to double jump off the regular ground and just crater somehow. Um, Shugger's gonna say LOL in chat there, as he did die, but. Yeah, um, we do see Team Solo Uber now in control of the fourth point. They are up in Uber advantage by about 20%, and they're going to have their chance at a, at a crack at a round win here. Coast to coast, this round right. is going, and any second, right. we're going to see the blue team push in. And we knew that this match would be back and forth, but already we've seen the mid exchange hands so many different times. Team Solo Uber with the opportunity to push into last year. That sentry gun is set up though for Ascent underneath the bridge. And we gotta see how they take this push here. Now Zelox is looking to remain, but Sizer with the, uh, gets taken down by the Donsky trap on that left side spawn door as the Uber comes in. Uber is just about to be up for 404. It is up, so that is the red Uber, and that is gonna allow them to dig in here and defend their last. They are not in danger. Showstopper actually in the backfield. Is he gonna get cleaned up? 75 HP, puts a rocket, takes down Shrugger. That pyro from Mela is gonna finally clean him up with some, uh, some nice little uh, toasty warm fire there. So we do see the rest of Team Solo Uber congressing over on that fourth point, but looks like we have a scent trying to bully them out here. They don't have the bodies as of yet. The spawners are going to be coming in from Team Solo Uber. So Ascent is kind of caught in limbo here. They need to make a decision going to get out. And then it looks like they're deciding to get out. Yeah, Ascent are backing right off. They know that they're down Mela, And that's going to be a problem for them. Because that one-man advantage can snowball into something a lot larger. You see Alec is Showstopper trying to bomb out of that main. And Showstopper creating space off the right side. Mela grip in on the left. On the Yonks. The Yonks is going to get that frag. PSU on the point. Sizer putting a lot of point time and point pressure. And that is going to get the capture down. Team Solo Uber take that first round 1-0. And that is a nice push from Team Solo Uber. It was a dry push to start with, but uh, ticking away was that Uber, and they were able to get it at the tail end of that fight there. But that's what you want to see. You want to see a lot of players come in right before the Uber, do a whole lot of damage, and then the Uber comes in to support that. So we are in mid number two. First round on the board for Team Solo Uber. Let's see if Scent can answer here on middle. But Donsky went big door once again, trying to get that early spam on the door. And here comes Showstopper with a big bomb onto him. He's going to put him down to half health. Now there's a scout. Shrugger onto Showstopper. Frags have not fallen for either team yet, but Donsky's going to grab one. But here is uh, Team Solo Uber to answer both teams down many players' land as Ascent looks like they're getting the worst of it. Yeah, TSU doing a great job once again on this middle, taking control of that high ground. And Alec on the point, you can see him just doing so much work. It's preventing their soldiers from bombing onto his medic, Ninja Nick. And now, Ninja Nick has actually been building really well this entire time. He has Uber. 404 does it, and actually, TSU are just going to walk right into second for free. You see, Zeox already sticking off that right side uh, shutter door, and that's going to prevent Yonks from coming in to contest. Rando does want a piece of this point, though. 
Yeah, I guess Randall spotted the, uh, it was only a scout with his medic over on that point, so uh, he could get in, put some rocket damage, try to delay a little bit. Did you see oh, Yams no, Randall actually goes down. Yeah, Randall... yeah, Randall gets dropped by the Uber there, 4-4 dropped them. Meanwhile, the Solo Uber in from Team Solo Uber, their namesake just peeking in through Banana. And, uh, wow, Alex is actually just rushing the main and taking down Badonski with some well-played shots. Great bombing off of the flank behind them, turning the enemy players around. A showstopper in as well. Air shot on the 404. Team Solo Uber are completely wrecking this next point right here. They're tightening the vice. They're coming in from all directions, but Ascent, they have a little bit to show. They're taking down bodies in mass. Rando in trying to take down Zalox. Zalox in the familiar position of being alone in a 1v1, but he's going to back it up. He's going to find two scouts for his efforts here. And here he is underneath the point, trying to collect some health, but a rocket's oh. gonna... Trugger uh, on one health, he barely yeah. survives, and with Mela helps takes down Zalox. So, as said, I have no idea how they held on to that Bloodstar. I think they traded too many fragment classes for 404, and that ended up punishing them in the end there, because Ascent had way too many fragment classes alive. So even with that heal advantage, Team Solo Uber weren't able to play that long game and win that fight. And now Team Solo Uber are back on middle. They kept their medic alive, they have the Uber advantage, and they can begin to push here. Yeah, that's right. And Ascent isn't careful, they're gonna run themselves into an Uber, but looks like they were just trying to pop that Uber, and Randall tried to go down the escape hatch, but he is gonna eat a rocket. You do you see that Uber? Popped. Yeah, Uber has been popped from the blue team. They're trying to get, to get some frags. They really need to get some frags here, because 404 is in position with his team to leapfrog, but not oh. if Alec has anything to say from it. Oh my goodness, Lynn, that is a team white, team solo. Uber coming in, taking down everybody on the red team. They are capping and running to last. Only Randall Absolutely. left alive. Absolutely beautiful. You said they needed frags. They got three of them right off the start there, and then Alex takes some beautiful ones right at the end. And the scouts for Team Solo Uber are doing a great job. And if Team Solo Uber wins here, this would be a mighty upset as far as the the popular polls go, because Ascent was favored to win this again. 90 percent of you guys thought that Ascent were going to win this match, and you see that Team Solo Uber are already at two zero right at the very beginning. Yeah, I have a uh, seven day uh, a trade ban, so rip my trades because I was going to bet on Team Solo Uber with that 10%. Uh, you know, that was great odds to bet on them in Saloon. But, you know, here we go. There's still plenty of match left to play here, and we are in mid number three. The scout starting off this time. Yams and Alec going uh, tit for tat, but a huge bomb coming in from Ayla. He's going to find himself a scout and Ninja Nick, but not going to get a kill to go. Frags are going to fall for either team. Team Solo Uber once again getting the best of it, but. Frags are going to be traded. Alec onto a sent. Sizer onto Badonski. Shrugger now coming in with Mela trying to pinch Ninja Nick. Ninja Nick does go down. But that is going to be a wipe from Ascent. And once again, Slim Team Solo Uber by their scouts are able to cap that middle. Yeah, it doesn't really matter what mid TSU go for, left or right. That time they went right and just climbing right up. And the, the, the Ascent, you just see them just zoned out. There's no way they can get in. Then they have to rely on these bombs to try and trade out their medics. But they actually do get the pick on a Ninja Nick. A nice job there. But at the same time, Team Solo Uber have been so dominant on these mid wins. Three, ba basically three mid wins in a row. That first mid was a little bit back and forth. But T TSU did have the first exchange there. And then these last two mids have been very dominant from TSU. A little bit of a different look this round as uh, we did see the action calm down. No, neither team was able to steamroll it into the second. So we have a mid and second standoff. Nobody venturing in to that second lobby area. Both teams just wanted to build that Uber, uh, not have any danger. Looks like there is a little bit of some team actioning happening from Ascent over mm -hmm. in the alley. But for the most part, they are staying back on their second. We do have a nice little sneaky sticky trap in lobby uh, in main up there. And so if they are careful, Team Solo Uber are going to run into that. We have to make sure here as they are motioning to go in that direction. This is a break that Ascent needs though. I mean, they've been getting rolled on these last couple rounds there. And TSU are just using that momentum to take their Ubers into the next point and just get fragged, keep snowballing that. And what Ascent needs to do is just kind of slow things down here. This is the style that they like to play. They like to play a slower, more controlled style. So even though they're down two rounds, let's see how they can do here against TSU. They got eyes on Grape and they're knocking him down low on health. And you see that there's no real threat coming out of Showstopper just yet as far as the bomb is concerned. Grape and the other soldier there on Team Solar Uber playing Minesweep were able to spot out those sticky, so not a threat, but uh, a new sticky trap went up over on that top main door, and this is a good position for Ascent, uh, a hard situation for the offense to crack here on Metalworks, it's a difficult spot to try to break in, you have to see what you can do, a lot of teams elect to send a soldier in through alley, and it looks like Grape motioning to do just that here, just kind of get a play from all angles, but like I said, a nice defensive position from Ascent. They're able to dig in here and just allow Team Solar Uber to come out then. 
Yeah, time is not exactly in a sense favor, but you know, the clock is ticking down, they're down two rounds, but I, I do expect uh, TSU to eventually pull some kind of play where they'll do a push out or some sort of sacrifice here. You do see Showstopper keeps peeking that upper door, but he knows, I think he knows it's trapped. Yeah, he just saw Podolski put stickies up there, so he's not going to go for that. And, you know, TSU have controlled middle, and whoever has controlled middle has controlled the round with that respawn advantage. So TSU uh, doing the right moves here, trying to feel out where Ascent is and what their weaknesses are. You can see uh, 404 is playing back by the shutter door, so he fully expects a bomb. And the shutter door is where you want to be when these bombs come, because you can use that shutter door to sort of close and uh, lock yourself away from the roamer. And uh, Ascent are doing a good job of holding the rock now. Sizer and his medic getting antsy over there on Valley, but Badanti is going to take down Grape, who got two antsy on top main. And that is going to cue the push from Rando, and the Uber is going to be popped. Actually, both Ubers go off in that main lobby area. Nice body and blocking. Nobody, yeah, body blocking coming in from both teams, and looks like we might have a reset here as Grape is going to spawn up in two seconds. So Ascent is going to have, actually, a window to make something going. Mail is going to jump in on the crates, and in comes Ascent. They need some frags, and they need it now, because uh, we do have Grape spawning in. Bad health over on the Ascent side, but they are going to grab a frag onto Team Solo. Uber and Zalox takes down Mayloff. Yob's taking down Sizer, and it is a skirmish on the middle fight. Oh no. Oh, and it looks like it's going in a sense favor. Yeah, you saw Showstopper at the very start of that fight try and bomb in towards Badonski, the Demo Man for Ascent, but uh, Showstopper easily got picked off. Rando with his shotgun, I was able to take him down. And from there, TSU had no soldiers. There was no way they had a uh, way to contest the high ground. And Ascent were able to bomb their soldiers in and push with their scouts and take back middle. That was a really nice play by them. And with Ninja Nick going down, that's a real blow to the team. Take a look at Grape over on the escape hatch. Oh, but he spotted out and he is going to go down, wasting his life there. It's going to allow two people down Ascent to push right in, grab that second cap, and they already are on it. About 90% Uber, so they are going to have it good to go for last year. Not much in the way of defense for TSU. They do have that sentry, which is going up near the spawn. Actually, it's going to be put on the engineer's back and try to be moved before that Uber comes in. But he has got to hurry because, Slyn, that Uber is coming in from Ascent right and now. Yeah, and that gun is not set up. Like you said, Rando able to walk in and take it down immediately. Shrugger getting flashed in, and Rando tried to push a pressure from the spawn. Meanwhile, Showstopper bombs it behind and takes out Badoski. Showstopper has his eye on Badoski this whole game while, and meanwhile, Mela, he tries to counter bomb onto Ninja Nick, but Ninja Nick is dodging and staying alive with 80 health, and he's going to get Uber soon, too. So now 404 has to run it out, and Ascent just botched that Uber push in the last... Ninja. Is that too much... Ninja, I'm, so, I'm sorry to interrupt you, but Ninja Nick there, he's like Neo in a white lab coat. I do not understand, Slyn, how that man stayed alive. He was, he was dancing in between rockets there. Uh, and now he has the Uber, like he said, to push out into middle. Yeah, and they're walking it through uh, the yard right now. Doing a good job of making space. And Mela in the house, taking down Grape and now onto Showstopper. Yeah, melee in the backfield actually is going to be a little bit of a nuisance as uh, Team Solo Uber is going to have to try to keep track of him as he's collecting health over in the valley in the backside. It's going to be spotted by Sizer, so a little bit of a flank play action happening as on middle things aren't all set and done as of yet. Rando and the combo is coming in. The red Uber is going to be popped. The cap does go for Team Solo, Solo Uber, so they are going to have the spawn advantage here. Yams is not going to get it. He's going to spawn on last, and that's going to loom large in this fight, this upcoming fight here. As we do see Ascent, they are massing in their yard area, but they do not have the body. Showstopper is going to bomb in. Shrugger is on on him, but following that up is Team Solo Uber, Eris Randall grabs one on to Showstopper, and that bite might be enough Slin for uh, Ascent yeah. to try to get something going here in Yard. Yops is going to grab on Sizer, and that's it. That's going to be two picks. Ascent are going to try to come back into middle. Yeah, Rando had a sweet air shot onto Showstopper there, took him down, and now he's pressuring the house. And, you know, you see Rando just doing, like, he's the tank for the team Ascent. They dump all the heals into him, he's got a shotgun, so he's one of the few soldiers left at this level who are still using the shotgun. You see Grape dodging around, he goes down to Rando again, and Rando just picking up frags left and right, like we said. They got the cap on the nose, Showstopper in behind, though, onto 404, and Showstopper making a huge play, stopping 404 from pushing into fourth point. Showstopping, stopping Team Solo Uber and their push here. They might be able to to uh, squeak out a cap or ascend, but in comes Sizer to say, not on in in my lifetime, as his lifetime ends because Yams kills him, but oh. Showstopper really bringing it to his team there. On oh the other my end, goodness. Though, yeah, yep. Rando came in behind and got the bomb onto Ninja Nick. The pipe came in from Badoski, and that was what finished him off. And Ninja Nick goes down as well, so Ascent just playing all over the place, and both teams are just throwing soldiers at each other's medics and hoping for the best, and it's actually working. Yeah, I gotta keep track of your medics, guys. Keep them on a leash and make sure there's no danger there to, uh, to, uh, no stranger danger looming in the backfield to take them out. We saw both teams having some nice picks on some medics and changing the complexion of a round here. It was going a sense way, then it was going Team Solo Uber way, yeah. and now it is going back to a sense way as they are yeah. grinding out that Uber over on second.
And if your team solo Uber and Showstopper makes a sync play onto 404 and kills the medic, you know that they're going to counter bomb onto Ninja Nick. So you got to be careful about that. And TSU just weren't watching their flanks. They were trying to cont contest the second point, and that's what cost them their medic there. So now Ascent are in a decent position to once again do this Uber advantage push in the last. We saw them fail it once before. Let's see if they can do it again. And look at this terrible defense. Sentry, sniper, heavy. They are really trying to dig in here, draw that line in the sand. That sentry is going to be the first to go down. Oh, and a pyro too from TSU. So they are really going hard for it. Airsoft attempts coming in from Grave onto Mela. Mela does go oh, down. The Uber is going to be up so that is going to allow them. Look at the point though. Nipple hairs away from being capped, but with not the uh, players to get it going, Ascent, they are going to be on their high horse. He's backing it out here as Team Solo yeah. Uber recap this T second. TSU are having a great defense on this last. They had that sentry gun set up, and it's forcing a lot of attention onto the sentry gun. Once they take it down, they have to deal with the heavy, they have to deal with the pyro, and th by that time, Ninja Nick is able to get a Zuber in time. Both times that Ascent has pushed in last with advantage, we've seen that happen. And you know, this is a really difficult last point to push it so large, and the medic can hide behind the wall near spawn. So for TSU, they've been playing this absolutely perfectly, and the center have a really difficult time making this push work. 4-4 did manage to get out there, so it is going to be Uber at parity, as our friend viewers would like to say here. Mela going to bomb in, try to get something going. Jab at this Team Solo Uber team, bully them out before they can get a uh, solid defense working here, as the Uber A is going to be up from the Ascent team. It looks like they want to come in. Yams is going to open it up on the oh, kill and Randall's going to take down Ninja Nick. Oh, he dropped his Uber. Sad to see it happen. 4-4 is going to pop his Salox and Grapeslin, the only surviving members here. The second cap still has to be capped, but already on the way to the last are the red yeah. team. That's not what you want to see. Nick was just jumping, turned his back to a rocket, and got taken down right there. Now a center all over this last point. Shrugger on the point here, putting a times three, and that's going to be a round on the board for a cent. The, uh, the favorites in this match, again, this is a huge match here between the number three team and the number one team in North America, and a cent are the higher seeded team, but they're just starting to get rounds on the board now. And that could be the play that really puts the fire in the team and gets them going here. Momentum change, possibly. We'll have to see how Team Solo Uber reacts here on mid number four. But a nice play from the Ascent Roamer there, taking down a Ninja Nick. And here we are, once again, on the middle action. Same as previous rounds. Teams still jabbing at each other. Expect those bombs to come in from the Soldier. Mela the first to pounce on top of the middle fight. Still spam being exchanged, no kills as of yet. More sustained is this fight. Now Showstopper trying to get on the action. Melo with the second jump, vying for position on that crate, combining with Shrugger. Nazi's gonna be able to take down Showstopper, and Sizer takes down Randall teams. Playing it very cautiously here. Finally, the frag's gonna be open up. The damage coming in from both teams. Both teams on oh, the point Shrugger's now. Oh, Shrugger's going ham now. He's Shrugger. getting a pick there onto Alec. He comes in towards Ninja Nick. Ninja Nick down solo, down to 10 health. Meanwhile, on the other side, Sizer in on the Badaz. He takes him down, but the Uber is popped from 404. Ninja Nick now still alive with his Uber, and he might come back in here any moment. Yeah, Mela needs to force his pop out. Oh, oh my goodness! Mela with the shot onto Ninja Nick, and once again, Ninja Nick gonna drop that Uber. Oh, what him. a shot <laughs> from Mela as a Constellation ham kill comes out from Zalox. Yeah, the rocket genius coming in here and dropping Ninja Nick with that sick air shot right at the end of that play. We thought Nick was going to come back in with the Uber, but he got a little bit greedy, tried to hold on to it once again, and drops his second Uber for the match, and Ascent have control of middle once again. Yeah, like we said, we talked about momentum switch, and that could be it once again. The complexion of the round completely changed off that one rocket placement from Amela and that drop from Ninja Nick. And that's when the teams start to uh, really get down on themselves and really start to uh, mm -hmm. question what's happening. You don't want that. You don't want that uh, dissension among the ranks uh, when you're dropping Uber like that. Yeah. But 4-4 four, with 70% Uber is vying with his team to break into second. And that's exactly what Ascent needed. They needed a mid-win on the board. They needed their chance to actually start with this advantage push in the second point. You see they're already moving through the alleyway, and there is no presence from TSU to get this force at all. 404 safely tucked away. TSU not in position. They're just going to give up all of this ground, and uh, Ascent are going to keep rolling it through, and if they're not careful, Ninja Nick is not looking to get the Uber in time. Yeah, they're in danger of not getting here at 80%. They really should be building it out with that scout. Uh, no sentry, yeah, no nose. heavy, no defenses set up for them. So this is actually looking terrible here as they start walking in. But Ninja Nick is going to get this Uber and uh, even things out. Ascent, again, playing that slow, controlled play style that they like to play. They'd rather see it even out and actually guarantee themselves a win here. Yeah, I think Ascent uh, counting the Uber in favor of Team Solo, uh, Team Solo Uber there. As Grape is going to collect onto Shrugger. So that is going to halt Ascent's efforts here just for a moment. That's Team Solo Uber and Sides. Oh, and Alex is going to take down Badonski and down a Demo Man. That is going to open it up with the second pick. And allow Team Solo Uber here to try to get out and take this second, but uh, easily, more easily said than done as Yams is going to take down Sizer. 
Neither team yeah. wants to burn that Uber exactly, mm -hmm. Slan is. That's gonna halt the push. No, that was the wrong move by Sizer there. Unfortunately, gets taken out. I guess they were going for a counter sack the way that Sizer was playing. He just ran in there, tried to get it on the 404, but Rando was prepared, takes him down. And you see Trucker going for a counter counter sack on the last, but he gets taken down by a nice air shot from Great. And that's gonna reset things once again. But you saw on that push out that TSU had a decent chance to take the second point back. But unfortunately, they didn't go for a solo Uber. They went for a sacrifice play instead. And Grape, another, another sacrifice play. You see these counter sacks upon counter sacks, Bloodsire. It's 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 sack inception, if you will. Uh, very, it's a it's a sack within a sack. Um, so go crazy, Twitch chat. But anyway, um, no, we do see the Ubers are gonna be up for both teams, and that heavy man is out. Heavy weapons man is out for Team Solar Uber and that Sentry. A level three, it's gonna be built, be built for the onslaught of the red team when they finally do come in. Over on the right side, we do see Shrugger is sniping. And Shrugger, last time I was gonna oh, say put it on a clinic, he does it again. Down goes the blue demo man. That's but gonna open up here, Slim. Yeah, Grape on the left side flank though takes the one on one against Bedunzi and takes him down as well. So both teams are down to Devil Man, and that nu uh, that sick pick was nullified as uh, both teams got one. So Mela peeking out of that right side takes down the Sentry Gun. That might open it up here. Shrugger with a bead on the medic Ninja Nick in danger there. He's gonna finally Uber his heavy. Now Red Uber also coming in. Frags being traded, but the better of it going for Team Solo Uber. Yams and Shrugger are casualties over on the red side. It looks like Team yeah. Soul Uber are going to right their ship just a little bit. Get another frag on Rando. Try to push out here. Sticky Trap. They are going to be able to avoid just by the luck of going the other direction. So uh, with the uh, players coming in, they should be able to bully out. Barring any melee damage, bully out this Ascent team. Oh, and Ascent, they want to contest the second point. Mela started that bomb off onto Zalox. They do get him down. Showstopper as well, but Ascent, they are losing control of the second point. Alec, the only rem main remember, Sizer goes in to, to sort of tap out and try and get back in there, and they do take Mela down as well. Sizer dodging all around, and Rando cannot chase him. Alec, full health again, onto the point, and Rando is not loaded. He has nothing loaded to defend this. Badonski trying to defend this from the upper two, but no, can't defend it in time, and TSU get that second point cap back. 4-4 with a 20% advantage, but he doesn't realize that they're just gonna back right off and you know what was really weird about this whole match so far blood sire is that tsu got two early rounds on the board but you can see ascent are getting a lot more confident in their gameplay and they're sort of just rallying themselves back in and getting a lot more confident on these contestants yeah it's absolutely true you can see that ascent are, are very late to give up a point because um, they believe in themselves they believe in their fragging and deathmatch abilities and that's what you need uh, you know as the number one team in uh in the ECA invite at the moment you want to see that out of them you want to see them throw their weight around a little bit uh, and take those fights and put the damage in but both ubers are going to be up and once again we are in that awkward situation between uh mid and second We're gonna have ascent try to break in somehow usually it comes in through valley and barring any team solar uber mistakes here um, it's yeah. going to be hard for Ascent well, to try to get it going. This is a really, really big push here for Ascent. They cannot afford to botch this. And, you know, if they get this round, they're going to tie up the match. So, uh, really important that they execute this properly. You see Mela going for the double bomb off of Alley. Looks for Ninja Nick, but Ninja Nick plays that shutter door. And we're seeing a lot of medics play that spot on that second point hold because the shutter door, they can just back right off of it. There's a little health pack there for them as well. And Ninja Nick has not had to use Uber. Unfortunately, with that spot, though, they're having to play super far back and they cannot counter sack against Mela, so he's going to be able to respawn in time here. Yeah, I think it's going to be washed here. Uh, it's going to reset and try to do it once again. They do have some nice sticky placement, a lot of defense happening over in that upper choke. So yeah, no chance from Team Solo Uber to, to, to bust back in and try to get some extra damage off of that uh, Mela death. Mela did a whole ton of damage himself when he bombed in here. So uh, yeah. let's see what Ascent can do this time as they oh. try to crack this defense. You know, we're talking about the play styles of Ascent and what they like to do. And you, you see other teams in the past, uh, in, as far as an invite level goes, they'll either go for that roll, sort of rolling snowball style where they push all every little advantage they can get. Ascent would rather let the Ubers even out, let the numbers even out, and guarantee this controlled push or this controlled sacrifice where like okay if Mela sacks things are so even we're so buffed there's no way they can push out of this and they're just happy to let Mela die over and over again got Shrugger on Sniper and he's taking that charge for a walk and it looks like that's a sense answer so far is that Shrugger might be the key to uh, pick this second lock here so he is taking that charge for a walk waiting for it to full charge he's a scout and any pick here will be the cue for his team to push has a shot on the medic actually and he's gonna get spammed out so now it's Team Solo Uber's chance to try to vie for position, get a second pick, and cue the second push. And Alec is going to make it in to, va to yard by a valley. And actually, here comes all of Team Solo Uber in through lower. lower. We have Showstopper no. now trying to make Big a bomb on, but, on the yeah, Zaylox, but Donsky by takes Donsky. down Zaylox. 
Mm -hmm. And the solo Ubers are exchanged out here in guard. 4 4 backing up, rotating the heels over as Badoski gets taken out by Showstopper Upper 2. Meanwhile, Showstopper gets taken out by Rando. Sizer in as well, but he gets focused down from the entirety of Ascent. And TSU, a mistake on that push out towards middle, costs them their fourth point. And Ascent are now continuing to roll this into last now. Sizer on a 12 second spawn, probably won't be up in time here. And yeah, the reverse pick, classic reverse pick. You let a team get a pick, they think they have the, uh, the advantage to go, but uh, it isn't enough as your whole team is waiting there to pounce. You do see teams nearly at full strength. Sizer does spawn up, and Mela tries to get something going by bombing in, but he is at 30 HP, and he is going to go down. So a little bit of some breathing room for Team Solar Uber as they build their Uber, try to defend. I wonder if Mela will not. Mela will come back as a soldier, yeah. I believe. No, we're seeing this over and over again from Ascent. You're right, that, that sort of turn it around where like we'll let you push out and let you make the mistake. And so far, it's been working for them quite well. They're able to get points with this, and they try it again. You know, we see this opening once again. Like, sacrifice Mela, then sacrifice Shrugger, have him go Sniper, and they just are going to repeat. And TSU need to find an answer for this. Yeah, and it looks like they might try to make that answer Alec on Sniper as he is playing very aggressive over by that shutter door, trying to peek, see if he can get any aggressive Ascent members to uh, dome there. And we do, like you said, expect Shrugger to come back on Sniper, and he's going to do just that. He's going to try to once again get a pick and break it wide open for his team here. But yeah, Team Solo Uber on that second play, they tried to turn one pick into a full mid push. And that's why you normally see teams try to use that one pick to, to get a second pick and then go. When you go off one pick like that, it's really hard. It's uh, not a high success or win rate, rate well. when that happens. Yeah, well, we do see Shrugger switching over to Heavy instead of Sniper. So it looks like Ascent might be going for some kind of Uber play or some kind of uh, multi-person sacrifice. Rather than going for that one-man sack, they, they're they probably going to use this Heavy to defend second point or prevent the repush out as the solo Uber comes in onto Badoski. Badoski gets juggled sky high, though, and easily taken down by Grit. The Uber has not been used by Ninja Nick yet. I think that Heavy is supposed to be post-Uber. He's going to come in, try to play in the damage after the Uber came in, but... The Uber Slim we saw was a terrible Uber. That soldier got shot sky high into the skybox, and uh, that Uber was a wash here. Ninja Nick, like you said, did contain, retain his Uber, so uh, he doesn't have to burn it. And now Team Solo Uber just have to decide how they want to try to bust out here. They do have uh. a sentry on last, and um, do they have a heavy? No, they don't, but they have that engineer still, so I really don't think they have any sort of a move. But with that pick, with that second pick, and that third pick, Slim, now they need to go. Oh, my Sent go for the four and sacrifice. We haven't seen one of these since Snake Water on the old days. They go for that four man. They get the force from Ninja Nick, and a Shrugger is way back here on second point on heavy. And going? we haven't seen this in such a long time because TSU have they been pushing out on these pushouts? They've been making mistakes, and Ascent were punishing those. And TSU are too afraid to do it. They'd rather just sit back on last and build up their Uber, keep that engineer with that level three, and uh, prevent Ascent from pushing in with this advantage. But you know, there's they're, they're 20 seconds away from getting it. They're not going to get it in time here, Bloodsire. Yeah, that's right. They're not going to get it. I was kind of confused. Why they weren't pushing out and I would have liked them see to try to get some more uh, some more bodies into to yard there try to spam out the red team buy them team some more uh, time a little bit as the red uber does come in and that sentry is gonna go down they have that heavy and the heavy's gonna work a lot better in this situation as the rest of the team comes in he's gonna be able to lay in the damage and frags are gonna fall two down though for a cent and they need to get something going Shrugger's gonna get taken uh -oh. out by Sizer and shows no! combined and only that demo man left alive he's gonna get cleaned up by Alex Mela is going to be on the respawn, but he is soldier, and he is just getting into middle now, so he is not going to be too much of a threat here, as he is going to run into Zalox and be forced out of this lobby area. Yeah, this was a sense chance to tie up the half, and they weren't unable to do it. We saw them push last three times with advantage, and it just didn't work out for them, or three out of four times, I guess. It did work out one of the times, but yeah, it looks like it's going to be halftime here as time is running out. TSU get control of middle once again, but a good half has already been called, and that's going to be halftime here. And the score is going to be 2 1 Team Solo Uber in the lead, Bloodsire, and I can't believe that TSU is in the lead right now. I'll rip my uh, my potential uh, winnings there on Saloon as I wasn't able to bet, but I, I've got <laughs> six keys on a set right now, man. Like, oh, I, need, I need a goodness. set to win for me. Yeah. That would have been, been nice there. We would have been dueling casters here with our bets. But, yeah, I mean, still plenty of match left to play. There's a whole second half, and we did see Ascent sort of uh, you know, hit their stride a little bit. Um, some hiccups there, as we did see Team Solo Uber were able to defend yet again. And that really seems to be the narrative so far of this uh, match there, Slynn, is the uh, the pushing last from Ascent. And it's a little, little difficult, having some trouble doing it. Yeah, it's really, really struggling for them. You know what was really interesting was like that four-man sacrifice, because we haven't seen one of those in such a long time. Like, on this kind of map where the forward spawn is so far back on middle, it's so difficult to make that happen, but they're actually going for these kinds of things, and it, and it almost worked. Yeah, it did. It got the Uber out, I believe. 
um, from the uh, defending team, Team Saluba there. So uh, it did what it was meant to do, but the follow-up play just not able to happen. Time did run out, so we are going to see a repeat of mid number four because uh, you know no, more, number four never ended. So we're going back into number four here soon here as teams. I don't know if they're deciding to lay out the strat book, maybe. Uh, Figure out how they can push last. Maybe, maybe some water break. You know, we're, uh, yeah, I mean, getting the players ready. I want to talk about this last push again because the Centaurs have so many different opportunities to push last and turn rounds, and only one of them has been successful thus far. They've been trying middle door mostly pushes. They tried like a bunch of middle door uber advantage pushes with a soldier scout or a soldier demo and taking out the sentry gun. That didn't work. They tried a heavy off the right side door. What I'd like to see is them come off the left side door with something else. But yeah, we are entering the second half here between TSU and Ascent. And it's been a close match thus far. I'm looking forward to the second half. Yeah, I'm going to take a look at Badonski and see what he can do on middle to open it up for his team. Really going to need some good damage out of him in this second half. Vicent want to run away with this win and get Slint his six keys back here. But let's see. He got, he's out <laughs> through lower. we put some spam early on into the combo here. And again, it's a sustained middle. You know, with every both teams waiting to get their players onto middle and jab and prod and try to get position to get a frag and Mela's actually gonna open it up with a kill onto great and there's a second frag from Ascent so things looking good for your bet there Slan as Yomps takes down Alec too and now high tailing it out of there are the red team solo uber team they're not even gonna be able to defend second Oh, and Big Shrugger coming off of the upper two, dropping down and taking down Sizer. He's actually still chasing them as Ninja Nick is a little bit on his own, but uh, looks like Xelox is going to spot that out and trap him out and not be able to get that sacrifice off there. But it was still a really nice mid by Ascent. They were able to take down the bombing soldiers of TSU immediately and then turn some frags and move into second point. And look at them already now putting half a cap here. But they're unable to finish it off. Looks like we're going to see an Uber versus Uber battle fight on the second point. And I like what I see out of Team Solo Uber here, not letting... Ascent come in and take that point, not letting the fight happen on last, taking it in on second, and frags are going to be traded. Both teams down one player, down goes a second for Team Solo Uber, and both scouts down for Ascent now as the Ubers are going to be popped. And teams are jabbing at each other, just trying to bully each other out of positioning here. And it looks like yeah. Ascent are going to have to reset Slint and back it up as Mila is in on second, in on 404, 38 HP, can somebody clean him up? Sizer is finally going to save his medic's life there. In the danger zone was the medic. But he's going to be survived, and uh, he'll be fine. Yeah, I know. It was a really nice heads-up play there by TSU to block that second point. They knew that they had that opportunity, and that defense was actually really big for them. And as they push in the middle, they're actually starting this off right now as Brando tries to shut down that right side choke. Yeah, sent over on middle. Is trying to get back into this lobby here. Looks like they're able to do just that. Pushing out Team Solo Uber. And it looks yeah. like we are going to reset. Ubers are just about leveled off. And again, Slyn, we are going to see that second to middle standoff and it's been kind of difficult for a the pro oh but not if Shrugger has anything to say about it he's going to open up with a pick for his team when you have a man advantage it's actually not that difficult in comes Ascent they get a second it's oh my goodness here comes the Uber but it's going to be a bad one because team solo Uber showstopper are literally solo Ubering and they are going to be out on an island in 404 and Ninja Nick actually Ninja Nick is in danger of going down there and he does go down bad news for team solo Uber yeah, they're just melting away as Alec is one of the last people alive. He gets taken down in lobby. Grape is going to try and bomb in and throw some rockets at them, but Ascent have such a large number advantage off of that fourth point push. They're going to roll right into last and take around and tie it up to two to two. And, you know, it was a really interesting call by TSU there because they once they got that kill onto Mila and kept Ninja Nick alive, they started trying to push into middle, and then they decided, okay, we don't want to mess this up. We're just going to pull right back and reset things. And that was the opportunity that Ascent needed with Grape going down from uh, Shrugger. That was a really nice opening pick for Ascent to start snowballing that, pushing that into second point, and then turning enough frags to just get right into last. So really nice round there by Ascent. But TSU, they've seen, we've seen them win mids. They need to win one right here. They need to win it. That was an ugly round from them, that last one. They need to make sure they come out strong make a statement here in this part of the half. Where do you see the damage is going to come in. Ascent Yomps is going to open it up with a double kill onto Alec and Showstopper. Shrugger's going to join the party and take down Great, but Sizer's going to grab two of his own onto Podonsky, and he is still trying to go. He's going to be taken down. Everybody on Ooh. Team Solo Uber are going to die. The medic up for 4 for Only Mela and Podonsky went down, so another mid-win from Ascent, and looks like so far this half is clearly theirs. Yeah, Ascent is starting to figure out TSU's strategy. Right there, TSU going for something a little bit different. Grape did a double bomb into the back lines of Ascent, but then they just turned around, cleaned up that frag. They got the other ones there. It's really nice heads up play by Yomps. And Ascent are looking really good to close out this round here with an 80% advantage. And, you know, there's not that much setup for TSU at last. They've got Alec going over to Engineer, and he's setting up a gun, but it might be a little bit too little too late. 
Yeah, that's right, that Uber is up, so once Ascent, they dish out their buffs and their overheals, they're gonna get ready to go here. We'll see how they decide to do it. Maybe they'll use that left door like he called for early on, give a Team Solo Uber a little bit of a different look. Yeah, they're gonna do just that, leading with their Demo Man. They know there's a Sentry somewhere, that Demo Man does find it. Sentry is gonna be able to go down and backing up into the corner now. Our Team Solo Uber frags, need to come in for Ascent if they want something to happen. 60% is that Uber on Ninja Nick, who's trying to dance. Frag is actually gonna fall for great onto Yams here, a second frag from Zaylox. Onto Shrugger and Slim once again. Team wow. Solo Uber. They hold on to it and are able to defend their last. Yeah, I'm so surprised actually. Alec was able to get that Sentry to a level three, and you know, Ascent spent their entire Uber trying to take it down. And once the Uber came off, it was just like them against the heavy, and that heavy did not go down. So TSU are now pushing out of their last point, and Mela is actually going to get caught out here. Showstopper gets banged up but dies to fall damage at the one-on-one -on -one trade as TSU are successfully able to take back their second point. Looks like Ninja Nick and Zalox. Oh my goodness, and Shrugger is going to be able to sneak in. And that was a dangerous push. A, a very risky push coming in from Team Solo Uber. They did not have all their lanes covered, and Shrugger's going to make them pay by popping that Uber. Now two down for TSU. They are not going to be able to fight this middle. Zalox and company need to hightail it out of here because... Ascent already want to get in and do some damage. They recognize the positioning from Team Solo Uber is not great. And if they go now, they will have the high ground, ground and the spam advantage. But uh, backing up is Team Solo Uber. They're able to right the ship just a little bit. Grape is going to spawn up. But already coming in with that Uber is Ascent. And they have the advantage to push out Team Solo Uber. Yeah, it looks like Ninja Nick is down 50%. He's not going to be able to get it in time to defend this. Rando putting some corner cap and Yomps in the other corner as well. They're just going to get a time six on the fourth point. Get that one down there. Rando already wants to move. He's already peeking the shutter door. He looks like he wants to go. They're getting their players buffed up. And Ninja Nick doesn't have a quite yet. They have now a sentry gun or a heavy. This could be trouble for them. Yeah, they need to try to repeat it. Shrugger's going to get right on the point, And there's nobody to stop him. Very close. Finally, Sykes is going to realize what's happening and get on the point. But Frags again falling for Team Solo Uber. Randall's gonna grab one onto Showstopper, and we do see Mela and the combo are gonna come in over on that far left side here. In comes the bomb now. Is the damage good enough that they can win this round? The Uber's gonna be up, and a nice pop, a timely pop. Ninja Nick doing a great job of staying alive in these uh, last skirmishes yeah. to get his Uber and allow his team to push out. Now you saw Shrugger get on the last point, try and put some capture point down, but that actually ended up being the wrong move because the team wasn't ready to collapse on the point and punish them for stopping that last cap, and Shrugger ended up just feeding that frag over the other team. And losing a scout on this kind of situation is terrible because your scouts are the most powerful class in the game, cleaning up all your frags, doing all your damage, and losing Shrugger was a really uh, big mistake there. And TSU are already getting themselves in the middle. We can see 404 just spawned, so about a 50% advantage in favor of TSU here. So uh, they are looking good here to make some damage, make a mark in this round as they are already capping. The middle point, they have six bodies ready to go. Looks like they're going to try to poke it in through yard. Maybe go with a full push in through valley. I like this idea. They have the most jumping power, most room to slam it in there over on that valley side. That's what they're doing. And recognizing the situation, the center are going to have to back it out. Trying to build that Uber at 60%. Want to see TSU get something going here. Try to catch 404 before he's able to get it. Here they are. They are moving in through lobby. Looks like Slim, though, they're not going to make it in time. That Uber for 4-4 at 80%. Yeah, but a beautiful job by Team Solo Uber. I mean, they were on their last point, and they rolled this all the way to their fourth point for uh, their team, and Ascent are all the way back on last. So it was just uh, no way that Ascent were able to contest that at any point in time due to Ninja Nick's Uber advantage. They played that absolutely beautifully. There was just a, a very clean play from TSU. We have that heavy out from Yams on the defending side, and we've seen Ascent. They had their shot over and over and over again. Try to crack this last defense. No, now it's time for TSU and company. And Shrugger has a sniper bullet waiting for Sizer's head. So uh, with that one pick, we do see Ascent trying to get positioning to turn that in and convert that into a second pick. And that's what you want to see out of invite teams. You want to see that one pick be used to get ground and searching for a second pick here. You don't want to see a team go off of one pick just like that unless they have to because the uh, the chances of it going south, especially on a map like Metalworks, is uh, is very high here. So they did try to push out, get some positioning, maybe get a second. It wasn't in the card, so they're backed up, slant, and they're back in their last. Yeah, it looks like Sizer switching over to Sniper, and he's going to try his luck. And we've seen Shrugger on Sniper a lot of this game, but Sizer on Sniper is actually very strong as well. He's going to go for that banana right side peek, and uh, Ascent need to do their, their job and play the lanes here. Just not give Sizer any angles that he can work with. Rando, he's a demo though, man. Uh, okay. Looks like uh, he's gonna take the shot onto Badonski, bring him down to half, and things are gonna reset once again. But TSU are in control of this game, but it is a 2-2 scoreline, so uh, really Ascent are in no, no pressure to push out of this immediately. 
I'd like to see TSU support Sizer a little bit. Yeah, actually, look at this. Yams is going to be able to come in and take him down. There was no buff on Sizer, and there was nobody around to sort of trade for that kill, and that's not the way you run a sniper, folks. You need to make sure you have your medic and a teammate there to support him. Otherwise, he is just going to be fodder for whoever decides to run in and go for the kill. And off the back of that, Ascent R trying to get positioning. Oh, and Showstopper is going to spam out Rando. And the blue Uber actually comes in, and it is a bad Uber. It is being chained left and right. Showstopper has the full brunt of the red Uber. Great ready to collapse in over on that far right side. It's Showstopper does take down Badonski. Now here comes the bomb from Grape. He's getting it on last. In collapses the rest of Team Solar Uber Slim. This could be another round here for TSU. Oh, Only no. two left alive. Not going to happen. TSU take another round, and they're first in the second half. It is 3-2 in their favor. Yeah, the, uh, the inexperience of 404 showing there as they try to push out of the blast, and actually 404 drops Brando on a solo Uber, and that opens it up. 404 popped it out anyways, and TSU just came in with a better Uber, cleaned that all up, and take the round, and that's going to give them the lead once again. Mid number six, here we go. Very sustained middles after the first two. Both teams just trying to make sure they bulk their damage and follow it up. But Grape getting things started very early. He's going to sneak in to the enemy lobby here. They're going to have to make sure they worry about him as Zalox follows that up. Takes one onto uh, uh, Yams there as Showstopper bombs in. Takes down 404. He is still going, trying to fight Melo with very low HP, 19 HP. Sizer is going to come in and grab one. And things are going very south for Ascent as Sizer collects one onto Rando. Man, that after that last Uber, I mean, you can tell the team Ascent is just a little bit distraught after that. I mean, they're just thrown off of their game. TSU were able to come right back in. They're using this momentum, and they just roll back, take control of middle, take control of fourth here, and it uh, looks like there's more action going on for TSU as they begin pushing in towards last. They have their Uber, and they are ready to go. They're going to Uber in that scout first, just Ubering all their bodies and try to get that early damage, and in comes Grape to get the retreating Ascent players. Alex is going to take down Badonski. Times two on the point. Nobody there to stop him. Very close to being capped. Finally, in collapsing are the Ascent players, but it's too little, too late. Another quick round goes to TSU, and they are on match points lane four to two in favor of the underdogs. Yeah, if you're Ascent, you got to get your head back in the game here. I mean, you can't afford to have these quick rounds go in favor of Team Solo Uber. This is match point here. TSU could take a, a, a really great game against the uh, Ascent. A lot different than the last time these two teams met. 5-0 in favor of Ascent last time they met on Sunshine, but you know, this is the second half of the season here and the second half of this match, and things are going all TSU's way. We'll see if Grape can get back in and turn some heads here, but it looks like Ascent soldiers want to get something working this time around. They're bombing in first. Frags and go for fall for Badonski and fall for Shrugger onto Showstopper. Showstopper was able to get Rando in his efforts. Shrugger's gonna take down a second and continue on his hunt, pushing into second. Has he been spotted yet? I don't think so. He is playing very sneaky here, playing cat and mouse, trying to get in on the combo. He's finally gonna be spotted out. Decided to back it off a little bit, but in the meantime, sort of sheep herding the rest of TSU back on their last, allowing his team to get positioning. Yeah, I love the way that he's doing that. I mean, just moving forward and pressuring TSU back. Ninja Nick can't afford to get forced in that position, and that backs the combo right off, and Shrugger knows where the combo is, so that allows the rest of his team to move quickly into the fourth point and take control of that and now we're in this even uber scenario that ascent likes so much and uh, we've seen this situation before blood sire we are very familiar with this hold and we've seen it many times in this game already we have the sniper out from sizer who's trying to try to get a quick pick when the uber comes in and then switch out to scout actually he is going to get caught out on last year and he is going to be the first casualty the showstopper is going to be able to trade that kill now salox able to get one onto ascent shrugger and not looking good there for Ascent, who mm -hmm. just tried to come in and burn that Uber, which actually Slim were able to do that. Yeah, they were actually able to pop that Uber, so um, they might have done what they meant to do with that play. Yeah, the counter bomb in from Grape onto 404 is going to force that Uber there. Rando, uh, not too happy with that. They're going to try and run it through Shutter with the rest of this Uber, but the level 3 sentry gun is set up, and the heavy, and all this stuff, and TSU are just going to be able to clean up these frags onto Rando and Yobs. They're just running right into last, feeding the enemy team, and TSU's like, okay, we're happy with that. Just run it right into a heavy. We'll just shoot you into the sky. And uh, TSU get those frags right back. So a set now trying to defend second point numbers down. Can they do it? I think that sentry was hacking. Had some auto aim air shots there. So sentry MVP with their shots. Somebody backbend that sentry, but in comes TSU. Zalox is going to take down Badonski. We have pressure onto 404. 
Do see the Ascent Scouts trying to get something going. They are going to combine and take down Alex and Zaylock. So uh, the board is open for Ascent to try to get something going and, and control this second point. It's a skirmish. Oh. Shredder's going to take down another Yams onto Grape. And the Ascent Scouts keeping them in this game. Only the combo for the red team left alive. And Showstopper's in danger of going down here. Gets an arrow from Ninja Nick, saving his soldier's life. He is oh keeping God. him alive. 7 HP. Keeps him again with another arrow slant. So, oh my goodness, Ninja Nick with the auto arrow. Making yeah, sure Showstopper stays alive. It was looking so good for Ascent to take that fourth point right back. And no, like Ninja Nick had some excellent plays with those arrows, saving his pocket soldier and uh, keeping them in that, that second point there. So uh, it looks like TSUR, I didn't want to go for a push out here while Shredder is down. And they're taking the high ground. Here they go. And both Ubers are up. And the blue Uber is going to be the first to pop there as Ninja Nick is able to milk for a little bit and then pop. I expel. Oh, there, there's no actually, Slim. There's no position in coming in from TSU here. They have to contend with this soldier in the lobby. Randall's gonna take down Great. Zalax does take take him down, but you see, there's a scout Yams on Ninja Nick who's dancing around in the yard. There's nobody there. Where is his team? Not able to defend him. Is his team? They are gonna be able to wipe Ascent, but uh, not able to keep Ninja Nick alive. And that's gonna stunt their efforts here as they try to get this uh, this last round. Yeah, Ascent had the right idea. They went for a solo Uber into the bulk of the team, TSU out in the yard. But it looks like TSU were able to push through the other chokes while Shredder was down and get back into middle. And once the Uber came off for a 404, it was bad news for them. TSU were all over middle, collapsed in, took them down. And unfortunately for them, they uh, lost middle. So it looks like TSU are in a very good position. They've been playing a really solid match thus far. I'm really liking what I'm seeing from them as uh, they sort of let things even out once again. And they have that one round advantage. So uh, they're really able to park the bus. Yeah, it's good to see such a strong showing out of Ascent. They're full of invite talent. Uh, if you take a look at the roster, they definitely look like they deserve to be in third and making a vie for themselves to, to you know, maybe be in a second seed here. If they take down the first place Ascent, that would be huge. And you see Ascent were able to get their bodies up, to get their players up, get their heels out, put some sort of a defense in on second with that Uber building. They are trying to get something going in the yard because they know they need to make something happen. They are down two rounds. Pop is going to come out from blue, and Randall's going to try to get in. The red Uber is going to pop, so would have liked to see TSU back it up a little bit, have that advantage to push into second, but they are deciding to go for it. Sight is going to take down 404. This could be the cue for TSU to collapse on Ascent. They are down heels here. And Slynn still in control of middle R, TSU. Yeah. 404 went down, Mela pretty hurt in the back lines as well. TSU doing a great job of playing together, playing with the team, playing the heels, and they're getting some frags here as uh, Mela's still dancing around behind the enemy team. They're trying to turn him around, but he's really too hurt for that. Goes for the bomb now, on to Ninja Nick, can he get it? Lands a rocket, yes, the second one goes in, and Ascent are able to take down the enemy medic, but TSU have more numbers, and they're going to begin pushing into second point. You see Shrugger and 404 are going to try and hold on to this with the heels. Can they do this? As Shrugger jumps onto Grape. Grape is so hurt, but gets the health back as Alec jumps in behind him and takes down the medic. Shrugger goes down as well, and TSU are in an excellent position to finish out this match. Yeah, and I don't really think TSU deserve to have this right now. They played horribly in that mid-skirmish, allowing Melo to come in and pick their medic, but Alec, keeping his team in the game, is going to take down the enemy medic and a scout. Allow his team to push up here onto second, put in all sorts of damages. But Donsky now trying to get in, scope out the situation, be like, oh, oh, hey guys, there's a whole lot of red teammates. I'm gonna have to back it out here. As TSU do cap the second point. Ubers are gonna level off at just about the same. And teams are gonna be deciding yeah. what classes they wanna be on as they try to defend or attack here. Yeah, this could be the end for a sense match as Team Solo Uber are one round up in control of the fourth point and they're really in a very powerful position it's going to make it difficult for ascent to push out of last or make anything happen because there's so much going in the way of tsu right now and with the time ticking down we're not quite sure how much left is in here i'm going to guess like 10 minutes left in this game so there's still time on the on the clock but uh tsu have control they can go for one man sacks two man or we've even seen four man sacks this game and they don't even have to push. I mean, really, if you think about it, they can hold on to second to the end of the map to the time limit runs out because they are off two rounds. Uh, it is the ball is in a sense court, as I like to say. One round. Oh, what? One round? Yeah, what? Well, it's, it's four to three right now. Or four to two? No, you're right. Four to two. Right. Four to two. My, no, my mistake. My mistake. It is four to two. Yeah, four okay. to two. <laughs> so yeah, even even so, even if it was down one round, they could sit on second. Uh, and they have all the time in the world to... Oh, <laughs> Shrugger's gonna take down Zaylock, so actually, <laughs> Ascent, recognizing that, they're gonna have to go, because Demo Man down is their advantage. Oh my goodness, they're able to convert that into a second pick, and that Uber is gonna be a pop, and it looks like TSU are just handing it to them right now. So they are gonna pop that Uber and body block. Randall's gonna get in behind here. Uh, this could actually be a reverse pick situation for TSU, but the Soldiers over on the second point are doing work. Randall takes down Grape. Shrugger's gonna take down Alex. 
Sizer takes down Yomps, but skirmish happening all oh. over the map. Three down for TSU. Yeah, Shrugger doing a great job of body blocking for Badonski, then taking down both scouts for TSU. And uh, that's going to put Ascent right back on their second point. You know, like down two rounds, there's still time on the map for them as uh, they want to push into middle point. Zalox knows this. He's got traps on both chokes. Malon peeks one. eats a bit of a trap and then takes himself out with a rocket jump. So he's going to go down there as Ascent. We're going to start their push in the middle. They decide better of it. And they back right off of that. A nice job by Zalox with that trap. TSU are in control of this match, but we've been seeing a lot of indecision from them on their holds and when they want to push. When they lose bodies, there's a lot of indecision about what to do next, whether to go in, whether to stay in, or whether to back out. And a lot of times they've made the wrong decision and allowed Ascent to climb back into this match, climb out of their last. You can see right now Ascent in this position. And those are mistakes that a team like Fortnite Tech won't necessarily make. So TSU, they do have some work to do going forward here if they are able to take out this win, but so far they are in the driving seat. And they are in control of middle, and like we said, Ascent need to get something going. Air shop attempt, attempt coming in from Rando, um, but Zalox is going to clean up Yams. Mela takes down Zalox. Teams yeah. are trading kills left and right, but uh, like we said, red team with that Uber popped. Oh are man, the have solo control. Uber into into house is going to take down Badonski, and they're actually going for a fourth point capture. The back gap behind them, four four jumps onto Rando and is saving him in time with this Uber. Size are trying to run away from it. Showstopper cutting it away as well. He's actually hiding behind four four. Wants to collapse on this Uber. Juggles four four up and hits the wall shot to take him down. Alec meanwhile running around the lobby behind them. He's gonna look on towards Yomps. Yomps is collapsing with the rest of his other teammates onto Grape, but no Grape is out. Meanwhile, Alec is behind. He's finally coming in, but no, Shrugger turns it on him and takes him down. Big pick there as Grape trades one onto Rando in the house as well. And Ascent, it was looking pretty sketchy for them, you know? They were they were, they were were getting back at, they were getting wrapped upon by TSU, but, but TSU were able to make it work. TSU had the vice around them, but they were just not able to tighten it. Shrugger did a nice job of taking that scout 1v1. You see Sizer now trying to take down Mela. He's able to do just that. Nice kill from Sizer, who does get cleaned up by Yams, but Showstopper now in on the blue team. He's going to get cleaned up by Yams. He's able to take down Shrugger. Yams still going strong here. Might be danger, as we do see members of Ascent team trying to come in. Grape in lobby is going to take down 404 and Slin. That is disastrous. Oh, and Grape with the regularly powered 6 going to come in and take down Podonsky as well. The Uber now up for TSU and the red team. They are down two, but... Blue oh, team no. are down three. And <laughs> Rando actually in the backfield is going to force that Uber. So a nice job from him, making sure his team have a little bit of breathing room as they try to uh, extend their life here. Yeah, TSU did not see that, that play coming in behind from Rando. They just weren't looking for it. Rando comes in and gets that force. And TSU now get control of fourth point, but they did use their Uber, their chance to win the round completely. Mela is still hiding in lobby as if TSU want to push, but I think things are going to reset now. Mela should probably back off of this because if he dies in that area, it could be bad for them. But he realized that there's not that much time in the clock. He's got to make a play. He's got room here, and he has it up. Oh, finally, I think he is spotted lower, uh, and he's in danger oh, to get spammed out. Shrugger trying to come out too, and actually ascend all of a sudden trying to get something going here. Let's see if TSU want to put up a defense. They do. Frags are going to be traded. Two down. For TSU, Randall, the only casualty on the blue side. And that Uber, not up for either team, but neither team really cares as they are fighting it out. Looks like TSU is going to be able to hold on to this. Oh my goodness, Slin, only 4-4 four, four, and Yams left alive. The Uber is not up for them. This could be it. This could be the round and the win for the underdog. Oh, big play here coming in from TSU. They're stacking time on the point. Randall tries to hold it up, but no, not going to be good enough. And Team Solo Uber bring themselves to a 5-2 victory on CP Metalworks, a big win for them, and a, a big win as far as like shifting shifting the top of invite, Bloodsire. Uh, most people are expecting Ascent to win this, That that the 1-2 usually every season, Froyo Tech and Ascent, but uh, Team Solo Uber putting in their bid to actually make it towards the top this season. Shed a tear for my saloon bent. That might have been. Want to see some rip slin for the uh, your sixth oh. Rick fine there that have uh, have gone the way to the ten percent of people. Dog. Six keys. Oh my Six goodness. Keys. So like rip rip refined slin's each. keys. Uh, for the people, <laughs> the ten percent of people who bet on Team Solar Uber there, they are gonna have some nice create an opening later tonight but yeah the underdogs team solo uber showing why they are the third seed um showing why they are the team that they are full of invite talent full of potential taking down the number one seed and uh basically yeah, putting on was, a show for all of us here it was a really interesting match i think that team solo uber got off to a really nice start up to zero a set looked like they were going to come back and like start taking rounds they tied up the match it looked like they had a chance to maybe even take the lead but team solo uber were staying in the lead the entire time afterwards uh just taking control of middle after that that weird second push out from Ascent where TSU just punished that and then they were just taking round after round and it, it, time was ticking down, Ascent had to make plays and 
TSU played that beautifully. And uh, Ascent are still ahead in the scoreline. They're up at an 8-2 win-loss against Team Solo Uber 7-3. But getting that win and tying things up as far as the... Uh, I don't know the tiebreakers go, Bloodsire. I, yeah, the head-to-head. -head. Yeah, the head-to-head -head where you know one team has a victory over the other, but it's tied one-one there. So uh, that's actually really big for them and solidifies their slot probably in third place. And if you're a cent, you know you might want to chalk it up to the fact that oh, it's Metalworks, and that, you know, not a lot of people play Metalworks outside of the week of Metalworks because it doesn't get scrimmed too often, doesn't get pugged too often. But you know, on the flip side of that, TSU uh, when they played a cent and they lost, it was on Sunshine and. Same is true of Sunshine. No one really plays it outside of when it comes up in match time. So uh, these teams here getting looks at each other on non-traditional maps, but you know, taking taking one apiece, very interesting. Makes the narrative very very interesting going forward because both these teams still have one match left against Froyotech. Um, so a lot of great great TF2 invite TF2 left to play. Um, any last thoughts, Slin? Well, I just want to say, like, going back to the match, I think that Ascent had a really good shot to take rounds off of them. You saw them, though, unfortunately, the, like, trying to push last point over and over again with that Uber advantage wasn't working out for them. The defense from Team Solo Uber on last point with the Heavy and the Level 3 Sentry and even the Pyro thrown in there as well was just so strong. Ascent had a very difficult time breaking that, whereas Team Solo Uber were able to turn rounds on the other end. Despite, you know, two Uber drops from Ninja Nick, they were able to make that work and actually convert rounds. So congratulations to them. A really solid play on Metalworks, which is a tough map, and actually moving on into uh, a bunch of you know we're only halfway through the season so there's plenty more matches to go but you know that's a really solid win for them very solid win and you like to see them keep their composure like you said they did have two uber drops they did find themselves on their last a lot but that is the true mark of an invite team able to keep their heads in it when uh, they are down and they're at a disadvantage able to dig in and make something happen to uh, convert picks and to convert small advantages or uh, turn disadvantages in your favor that is the mark of a team that can do a whole lot of good here. And we saw it from Team Solo Uber as they take down the number one team ascent. But, Slan, I think that's going to do it for us. Uh, make what? sure you. Whoop, go ahead. I do want to say that, you know, ascent's next match is going to be against Froyotech. Right, so that's a that's a pretty big matchup there between you know the number one and number two teams. So definitely look out for that. Uh, it's on Thursday, I believe. It's on Thursday. Okay, so uh, right before GXL. So definitely look out for that match. And if Ascent lose that match, that will be the opportunity for TSU to sort of tie things up. So just yeah. want to look say look out for that. Right, and I'm sure we'll be casting that match. So guys, make sure you head over to TeamFortress.tv. Uh, you can get the info on that. Follow us on Twitter at TeamFortressTV. We will tweet out uh, all the community events when we go live what we will be broadcasting to you guys here on Twitch. Um, but for our cameraman, Math said, my co-caster, Mr. Slynn, I am Bloodsire, and for Team Fortress TV, I want to thank you all for tuning in with us tonight, and we will see you later in the week.